What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So this will be the spoiler free review for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, the sequel to Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Now, this is directed by Joaquin Dos Santos, Kent Powers, Justin Thompson. It's written by Phil Lord, Christopher Miller, David Callahan, and it's once again starring Shamik Moore as Miles Morales, Haley Steinfield or Steinfield, Brian Tyree Henry, Jake Johnson, Daniel Kaluuya is joining the cast now, as well as Oscar Isaac and a few others. Now, this film is revolving around Miles Morales once again, of course, after reuniting with Gwen Stacy. Miles, Brooklyn's full-time friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, is catapulted across the multiverse where he encounters a team of spider people charged with protecting its very existence. But when the heroes clash on how to handle a new threat, Miles finds himself pitted against the other spiders and must redefine what it means to be a hero so he can save the people he loves most. Now, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse completely surprised me. I knew it was going to be good, but I just was not prepared for how much more darker in tone this film would be in comparison to its predecessor. The writing is miles better, no pun intended there, managing to progress the character arcs for both Miles and Gwen in a very compelling way that examines what it means to be Spider-Man, the impact choices can have on our lives, and so much more. So the themes here are dealt with So the themes here are dealt with in a very thought-provoking way that might make this movie a little dull to some younger viewers but everyone else should appreciate the subject matter this type of subject matter being tackled by an animated movie in this capacity the animation i would say just like its predecessor is simply beautiful if not again miles better <laughs> than the first movie and also somehow again just better all around compared to this into the spider-verse it's a visually stunning piece of art that I would say is just so impressive to watch come to life if you're someone like myself who grew up loving comic books. It's just a breathtaking thing to look at. Each frame just improves upon the last. I cannot wait to revisit this movie before Beyond drops next year. The soundtrack is filled with bops just like the last one, which chime in at all the right moments to heighten the emotions felt during certain scenes. Daniel Kaluuya's Spider-Punk is the standout of the variants that we meet. There's a playful... Well, from the audience perspective, you, I guess you might find it playful, but Miles feels threatened by Spider-Punk and their interactions are just hilarious because of this. Miles is threatened, but also inspired by him. So when they're interacting with each other, it's a very interesting dynamic that they have being played up during their time together. The script digs deeper into the character of Gwen and her relationship with her father, and it builds up quite well to showcase how the parental struggles make Miles and Gwen the focus of this story and that they are the heart of it all. The movie understands that perfectly well and uses it to its advantage. As much as I laughed, again, there's a darker side to this entry that just completely blows into the Spider-Verse out of the water. Miles discovers something no other Spider-Man has ever had to accept before, not to my knowledge anyway, and it makes the character that much more easy to root for. Shameek Moore's voice talent is highly impressive here again as well, but the bombshell that Miles has to come to terms with is just absolutely devastating when you think about all the Spider-Mans that we have fallen in love with before. None of them, I swear. When we learned what we learned, it was just like, wow, how, how refreshing and how dark at the same time. But Shameek's more, Shameek Moore is able to capture this heartbreak, but still resilient nature of Miles so well with his voice that it, it again this new piece of information about his spider origins makes the character that much more likable and someone you want to get behind now the news that we learn in comparison to the origin story that into the spider verse gives us on miles also makes his development here that much more impactful in comparison to that origin story the film understands again that gwen and miles are its heart and they balance out their arcs effectively to let you know that it's both of their stories this time and not not just miles it's just as much as gwen's story as it is miles i do think that the movie went on a tad bit too long but the pacing is fine for the most part besides a couple slow moments in between all the web slinging chaos yes there are some cool cameos and there's an even better cliffhanger that did make me a little upset because it was that damn good i cannot not wait to see the payoff to that the voice talent is killing it as mentioned Shamik is incredible at capturing the emotional roller coaster miles endures during this film Haley steinfeld is also wonderful as gwen uh, i love the chemistry between her and Shamik. 
Oscar Isaac, I think is phenomenal in what he's given to work with. And Brian Tyree, Brian Tyree Henry is crushing it. And Miles' dad, who I think is named Jefferson Davis. I'm just drawing a blank. I think his name Jefferson. Uh, I just love that relationship unfolding on screen between Miles and his father in this sequel. All in all, Across the Spider-Verse is a sequel that successfully builds upon what came before without feeling like a retread besides exploring the common Spider-Man themes about grief, loss, acceptance, etc. that we have seen in every entry prior. There's even a layer of meta commentary, I would say, in this entry as well, that gives a label for these unfortunate events that every Spider-Man across the multiverse must deal with, which I thought was a nice, nice touch creatively as well. All in all, I'm going to give this movie a 9 out of 10. When you guys see it, hopefully you love it as much as I did, and hopefully it's something that many people will look back on and just be very appreciative of as time passes. This is one of the best Spider-Man movies to date. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification and in this video in the description. I will have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews I'm going to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.